Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me again, Golden Blue Dude. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I do college football videos every single day. What another crazy week of college football we've had. And the AP Top 25 is out, and it definitely reflects that. The top half of the AP Top 25, there's some change, but it's not as hectic as the bottom half of the AP Top 25. We'll start at the top. Number one, Alabama, they stay the same. They actually lost one first place vote, and that went to number two, Georgia. They stay the same, but they gain a first place vote. Number three, stays the same. Oregon. Number four, Penn State jumps up two spots. I think that's well deserved. Number five, Iowa at 4-0, staying the same. Number six, this is where Oklahoma falls two spots. So even though West Virginia didn't beat Oklahoma, hey, at least we cost them two spots. I can live with that. Number seven, Cincinnati. They jump up one spot. They get a little bit closer to being in the top four. And they'll have a great opportunity to go on the road and play Notre Dame. Number eight, Arkansas jumping eight spots, still undefeated. They upset Texas A&M 20 to 10. Although I didn't understand the Vegas line on that. I thought Arkansas was clearly the better team. The Vegas kind of screwed themselves on that one. I bet they lost a lot of money on that one. Number nine, that's where Notre Dame is. They jump up three spots, finally showing some life. They beat a pretty good Wisconsin team. Number 10, Florida. They jump up one spot. They're three and one, but that one loss to Alabama only by two points. That's not a bad loss. Number 11, Ohio State. They're trying to bounce back, but they actually slide down one spot. Number 12, Ole Miss. They're three and oh. They jump up one spot. Number 13, BYU. Not gonna lie, BYU has surprised me. I thought they would take a big step back this year. Not yet. They're undefeated. Jumps up two spots. Number 14, another surprise team, Michigan. They jumped up five spots. 4-0. Number 15, this is where Texas A&M falls. They fall eight spots after losing to Arkansas. They're 3-1. and one. Number 16, Coastal Carolina inching their way closer to the top 15. They jump up one spot. Number 17, yet another surprise team, Michigan State. They're 4-0. They jump up three spots. Number 8, Fresno State 4-1. and one. That one loss to Oregon. Not a bad loss. They jump up four spots. Number 19, Oklahoma State. They make their first AP Top 25 appearance of the year. They're 4-0. Number 20, UCLA. They jump up four spots. Number 21, Baylor. They go from non-ranked to number 21 because they beat Iowa State. Only by two points but a win is a win. Number 22, Auburn. They jump up one spot. They're three and one. Their only loss on their road to Penn State. And then number 23, this was actually a little bit of a head scratcher to me. NC State, they're three and one. And I know they just beat Clemson at home, but they've also lost to Mississippi State. I would have waited at least another week before I would have ranked NC State. Don't get me wrong, that's a good win, but you cannot forget about that loss to Mississippi State. I don't agree with that. Number 24, Wake Forest. The Demon Deacons are ranked. Are you kidding? me. This is crazy. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. And adding on to that, number 25, Clemson. Yeah, I'm definitely in the twilight zone now. Clemson 2-2 two and two, falling 16 spots after losing to NC State. What in the world is going on in college football? I feel like I'm in an alternate dimension or something. And there's two key omissions that I don't see on here. Where's Boston College and where's Kentucky? I would have 100% not ranked NC State. You don't just all of a sudden forget about a loss to Mississippi State because you beat Clemson at home. And Boston College and Kentucky are undefeated and they're looking good. And honestly, I had Clemson bear out of my top 25 because of that loss to NC State. I mean, they're the only two loss team that's in the AP top 25. I would have knocked them out, give them a chance to get back in next week and reward Boston College and Kentucky. So that's the two names that I don't agree with. So here's the teams that are normally good that are struggling this year. Oklahoma, yes, they're undefeated, but only because their opponents keep tripping up on Ohio State. Only one loss, but their defense is nowhere to be found. Their opponents can pretty much do whatever they want at will. For Texas A&M, it's the exact opposite. They have no offense. They're all the way down to number 15. Then the biggest eye popper is Clemson. Number 25. When was the last time we seen Clemson ranked that low? And then the surprise teams. Penn State. Well, they didn't surprise me, but they're surprising other people. They didn't expect to bounce back here. I knew Penn State was going to be good. But number four, maybe a little higher than what I was expecting. Iowa. I knew they were going to be a decent team. But number five, that's crazy. Oregon, number three. Definitely didn't see that coming. I was way down on Oregon at the beginning of the season. Arkansas at number eight. We all knew that Arkansas was the best three-win team from last year, but to go from that to number eight, that's crazy. BYU, I thought they would slide back big time, but they're still holding strong. Number 13, Michigan surprising us, number 14. Michigan State, number 17. Freaking Fresno State at number 18. Oklahoma State at 19. Baylor at 21. NC State at 23. Wake Forest at 24. It's all weird to me. What am I looking at? That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.